Shalom, Israel. Greetings. Very glad to meet Israel. You're on this most beautiful young Halashushi. It's Friday evening, and at the conclusion of the day, I tend to relax myself here as we prepare for the Shabbat. I'm somewhat winded. I have uh, been up since a little after 5 a.m. this morning. Did some tremendous cardiovascular work to keep my heart and my lungs strong. I had to uh, drive a distance to purchase some implements for our tractors. And then back home around 10.30, 11 a.m. And then I was able to harvest a tremendous amount of harvest from the garden, the God, the young grandson to us. So at the close of the evening, I tend to come here to one of my favorite places, and that is the gym. This beautiful cardinal has to get warmed up. This is a video from men over 55. Keep themselves in shape. Even at 55, 56. This is a tremendous cardio faster. Work out here. This big bag. Your foot. Not the old one. This gives you a little warm up. This is important. You know, for your cardio to be strong. And uh, I want to show you some exercises for men that are older you can do to uh, maintain your strength, your beauty, uh, a younger look, a healthier look, if we are eating healthy and eating right. So this is for my Hebrew Israelites, ah, over 55. For you young men too, you certainly can reap an abundance of information from this. I have said that I would do a video on this and show you some workouts, some things you can do on this particular video to work with your core. Because most men today in their 50s, they have a tremendous bulging front here. And when a man cannot stand and look directly down, see his anatomy and his feet, then something is wrong. So uh, I began each day with some cardiovascular in the morning or in the morning. I have a treadmill. I have one of the old-fashioned stair steppers. You can hardly find them. If you do, you're looking to pay maybe five, six hundred dollars for one. But I've had this one for many years. Programs to, uh, to exact a tremendous amount of cardio in uh, exhortation upon one. And there is nothing like this. If you have access to a bag like this, the big bag, nothing will fit it out of you like this. Nothing like a big bag. I usually do that for 30 minutes straight, or I will do 15 rounds, three minute rounds, 45 minute break, and you must throw at least 250 punches per round. I want to show you some things today. I'm not going to do a thorough workout. But what I'm going to do is give you an idea of some things you can do, a couple of sets of each, all right? And I want to begin with some things uh, to show you what you can do to build the intensity of your physical being, to make yourself strong, especially over 50, because we tend to be uh, couch potatoes, and you don't want that, I don't want that at my 50s. I want to do this when I'm 60, 75, and there's a reason why uh, we cannot do that. So what I'm going to do is get on my lifting gloves here, all right? Oh, by the way, someone made a comment that uh, I was big and fat. Well, I am not photogenic. Some will look big and fat, but I am not a fat man, really. I really am not. I may look fat, but if you meet me in person, you will see that I'm not a fat man. So what I'm going to do here, and this is for my, for my ah over 55, all right? You can maintain strength, you can stay strong, you can be vibrant, but it's gonna take effort, a proper diet, eating in a way 
that will be conducive uh, to your physical growth and developing uh, the type of strength that you need to function and do the things that you want to do, living a healthy lifestyle, all right? So it's somewhat warm here in our gym, and I'm going to put on some things. Always have my belt for back support. And I want to show you some things that you can do to help your physical strength. I'm going to show you a plethora of different exercises that they will help much. I'm going to be down here with triceps and bodies. We're not trying to be Charles Adams. But I began here with the tricep, the exercise of the bicep. And I believe in working the triceps and the bicep because they're just one arm. So you work them together, all right? I began here, all right. This is not much weight here. Today everybody is emphasizing how much you can bench. That's not the issue. When I was 53 years old, I was benching 415 pounds. I'm 56, as the little ones would say, going on 57. And so you can maintain a strength. You don't need steroids. You don't need drugs. You don't need that. Really, you don't. I'll show you some of the things that I take. All right. A little warm up here. I'll warm up my tries. Here. See how I'm pushing the weight up and down? Not all the way down, but here, look. You see that? Simply working the twice. And then from there, I tend to, on this machine here, if you don't have this, I will show you how you can do this without all the apparatuses we have in here. Take a pan of our gym, Oxymion, so the people can see. We have a full-fledged gym. We can do squats, deadlifts, hack squats, leg press, shoulders, anything, pull-ups, Dipped. We have everything in here that's, that's needed for a thorough workout. And I will show you some of that. All right? And then I will go from my triceps to my biceps. And this is the biceps. The triceps is that part of the arm in the back. All right? The bicep is this. And then I will do these with 125 pounds. But what I do, I put a lot of stress on my arm, and you'll see that as I, as I curl this. Look at my arm, watch the stress. So I sit back like this, so there's no support, nothing but arm. See that? bicep, you're actually stressing this, that the tension and the leverage of this machine, it will only stress this part of one's arm, the bicep. It will not stress to try the bicep. And so what I do, I have routines that I work multiple uh, muscular groups with each other. So I will do this, then I will move to the tricep or the pull downs. <coughs> I will move here. And I tend to put 100 pounds. You don't have to do this, my friends. I'll be showing you some exercises. And I will show you in a later video <coughs> how to take a small amount of weight and get a tremendous production. You will see the result in your body. You will see that. It's just that all of my life I've done this. So I tend to utilize maybe just a little more weight than the average man I eat will do. And I have what we call a V-bar here for my tricep. I will simply work the back part of my arm and the tricep. And so what I tend to do, watch my motion. I've just come out of the garden, the garden, harvesting broccoli. We have our community dinner here at three. So I want to get me a 45-hour workout. 
and show you some things that will assist you and to help you and keep you strong and healthy. So I have what we call the V-bar, and I will put just a slight bend in my knees. I have my, my feet parallel with my shoulders, and then I will pull this down with my elbows, keeping them as much as possible locked to my side. Watch the motion. See that? unless you walk in miles in 13 minutes and you're gonna burn calories that way so 13 minute miles and 10 minute jogging if you're jogging all right anything else you're crawling anything else and so my uh, first day of the week preference was to get up and do 10 miles and then do 1,000 sit-ups a thousand at one time without stopping so I'll come back here to the triceps. Remember the tries of this part of the arm, the back part of the arm, right? I don't like showing off my physical being. I know people will say he's showing off, but that's not the case, my friends. I'm simply a physical large man. Maybe not as large as you. Maybe not having the physical dexterity you have. But Yah has sprach, he has strengthened me, even in my latter age, to be able to do things that most young men cannot do, all right? Triceps one more, and that's it on this, okay? 
So I will. I will take the bar. And you want to get a close grip on the triceps. You know, we're not here for, for, for the pectoral or the delts. You want to come in close like this. Close or even closer. Yeah. All right, see how close I'm in my grip? And I'll take the mat. stress on your body and it is quite difficult. It feels much more heavier than on a flat bench, like a flat bench press. That's somewhat easier than flat, flat bench press, but this is much more difficult. It puts more and more of a stress on you. I'm breathing hard because you must be persistent in the activities. You don't want to rest for three or four, five minutes. You use a 30 minutes, 30 seconds, to one minute rest. When you go to the next set, you're developing your cardio, you're developing strength and muscles that must be fed protein. Now, I do not eat meat, so I utilize what we have, what we call a green protein. You can get it at places like Trader Joe's or any kind of natural health food store. So I, I purchased the green protein. My issue assists me in that area. And so that's how I get the intake of my protein daily. And also, because I'm not a meat eater, I take vitamin B complex, the liquid. It gives you a little energizing. It also helps in your daily activities, especially if you do this kind of a labor intense activity. And this is one thing I do every day. I come to the gym every day. Every single day, I come to the gym. Yes, there are days that I don't come because I'm wore out. But even when I'm wore out, I come to the gym. One more set of this. Notice the position of my body. You notice how my arms are? Let me add just a little more weight to this. About 130 pounds. And so if you don't have this, that's all right. I'll show you things you can buy you can get the same result. So I stand my body. You notice where my feet are, my back. So I stand my body, that the only thing that is working are my biceps. Here, here we go. Look at that. so that the sweating of my hands will not cause me to lose grip on the apparatus I'm using, all right? So from there I go immediately to the triceps. I want to kind of show you some core things to help you to, to develop the core, which is your thighs and this part of your body, your deltoids your stomach. I know I have a big stomach, but really, honestly, my stomach is not large. At 36 waist, it may not look that way, but I really, really do. Not like some men say that they do, and they really don't. And not only that, my size and my height, it is not like the one who's filming me, all right? He's tall, bronze. I'm a short nub, all right? Not like one that exaggerates their height and say, I'm 
They are five nine. Say they're five eleven. I'm truly five eleven plus. All right. That's how I am. I'm not five ten, five eleven. I'm not six feet. But that makes no difference at all. All right. Triceps again. What I will do on this, I will add twenty pounds. That will give me a little more resistance. I'll put a ten pound dumbbell on each side. This will give me one hundred twenty pounds. And so. I want to stress my triceps as much as possible, okay? And so, I will begin here, the triceps. Again, legs, of my feet, a position shoulder width. You don't want to keep your legs straight, just a slight bend. You can purchase a machine like this for your home for around $250 a day. There are many exercises you can do with this. And in the future, I will show you some of those. I want to show you some basic core things that will help you. So I give a little bend in my legs, just slight, and then I pull, keep out on the side. develop what we call thickness uh, and you have to go up a little heavy you have to so immediately from that I go again one more exercise for the tricep and this this apparatus right here is one of the best biceps machines you can get this works the bicep in so many variations and it's wonderful to have a machine like this will cost you around $200, $300, but it is certainly worth that. Or if you're looking for something to do a multiplicit type of exercises, this is what you want. A machine like this will cost you around $1,000, but it takes room in a house or a garage to have one of these. And you can load this up with weight. You can do benching, leg extensions, something for your stomach, for your shoulder. Everything you can do it here. Curls, tries. I will, I will be showing you different variations of the biceps and tricep movement, movement for your deltoids, and especially men. In order for you to be able to bench any kind of weight, you must work your legs. Squatting, deadlifting, uh, leg press on the, a machine like this, uh, that's beautiful. This machine, I could do a thousand pounds for about 15 reps. And now because I'm old, I don't try to lift as heavy as I once did in my 40s and even my 50s. So the max on this, I will do around 800 pounds, maybe 900 pounds. But I stick to the lightweight. I'm getting older and I enjoy getting older too. I love getting older. All right, here for the biceps again. I showed you the last time doing this exercise like this, all right? Now this is the runner here, this is what really gets you. One at a time, you pull with one, two, three, fast. Each one of these 
exercises that I'm showing you, I generally do between five to eight sets. I come at the gym one day and maybe work shoulders and the pectoral muscles, which are, which is this part of your, your chest. And the deltoids is this region across here from your shoulder or where across here. So I work different things in my legs. And you know that most men do not like to have thin calves. So you must work your calves at least every other day. And if you work them, I'll show you an exercise even today. I won't get through everything because the time is hastily approaching. But some exercises that will help you develop a strong leg dexterity. I'm going to do some things for the upper, something for the, for the midriff, and two sets on my legs. Then we're going to conclude this video. Well, let me show you some things whereby you can't do in your home with limited resources. I want to show you this apparatus here. It is called the dip. Now this dip is meant and it will carry the weight of at least 250 pounds or 350 pounds. And the bar will not bend. And that is someone of my size, 230 pounds, with 50 pounds or 100 pounds with the weights around my waist. We tend to use this strap here and lock this around us. And then we put added weight. This is one of the most beautiful exercises that you can do. Having limited resources, limited space in your home, you put this apparatus in your bedroom. And I will show you this machine, it's called the body salad. It is called a dip machine, dip. You dip with it. It works the tries, the buys, the pectoral, the deltoids, the back. You will be impressed with this. It's a difficult exercise to do. You've never done this. It's gonna take a time to do it, all right? But I will show you exercises where you can build yourself to do that. And then, the, what exercise I will show you? That the elderly statesmen still have the bench power to I still can bench as well. So what I will do on this machine, I will, I will saddle it and notice where my hands are at the back of this machine, all right? And you want to dip with your body weight. So all my weight, I'm going to dip down and up. Watch this. Cross my legs and go down. So I do 15 of those. You fill it here, you fill it here, you fill it here, you fill it in your lower part of your back. And you might ask, with your issue, it's a nice thing that she fills your back, it's strong and muscular, isn't it? Not so frank. Cupcake City. Just, just a little pun, okay? Hallelujah. So from here, let me rehydrate. I guess from here I will have me some H2O, some, some hydrogen and oxygen. I want to show you this exercise. This is called the bar. And I have what we call a V. A V chest pull on this. You can mount this in your garage, anywhere outside, between trees. Now this is an exercise that most people despise. I don't like this, but I love it because it, it is a compliment to the dip. And what I tend to do, I put my straps on so that I will get a firm grip around the feet bar. These are my straps that put on my wrists. On my wrists. So that I can grip the bar. And what I tend to do with this, 
I tend to, when I do this exercise, I tend to work the abdominal and also my upper body. I'll show you. We will try to condense this down, but we may just put it up like this. You can always stop it and go back. Well, this is not the nature of your arm, my friend. The Torah commands that physical exercise profit little. But Torah observation and the garden of the Torah, it is a great gain. So this is of no substance unless I'm a guardian of the Torah of Yah. So what I will do here, you notice I will take this strap and wrap it around the bar. You notice that? So it gives me a secure grip. I will take this strap and wrap it around the bar. You notice that? So my grip is secure, okay? What I will do, Yisraya, I will raise my legs up and down as I pull up. And this is a beautiful exercise you can do with extended grip. I like the V grip, you get a little older. This is not as taxing as you would grip wider grips. This is a simple grip. It still takes the same amount of maneuvering, maneuvering and strength. So what I will do here, notice this, watch me, as you will see on the video, watch this. I will allow my legs to rest and pull up. So I'm pulling the my midriff, my torso, and helping and that to eliminate this gut. Hallelujah. I must take a blow after that one, okay? Because it is quite important that we as men, and I look at many of the Hebrews or identify themselves as that, and their bellies are so protruding, especially the ach. Big belly men, and I'm talking about those that say they're vegans and bros. They eat so much, they have no endurance, they can't even work in the sun, they can't labor. Believe me, I don't care how intense my day is. At the close of the day, I come here. If I worked all day long planting thousands of plants, I come here and I work my physical being, and it makes me ready for the next day. Many men that would do that, they'll sore, they don't want to do anything else, and they don't have the ability. But that's not the way I'll be. All right, again here on the dip. I'm gonna do two sets of each and show you other things, all right? Hallelujah. Whew. I need a little break, all right? It is now 2.22 a.m. I'm sorry, P.M. Eastern Standard Time. As I said, I've been up early. I have done a tremendous cardiovascular workout this morning. I, I, my cardio consists of, I have a 250 pound cart that I jog three miles when the weather's warm. I don't like the cold, moist air in my lungs. That is an open door for pneumonia and things like that. When it's warm, I love to run or jog with this 250 pound cart pushing that three miles. And then I love to do sprinting and run for speed. I have a treadmill, I jog and I power walk on that. I have a stair master that I do stair stepping on. And I like to do at least 1,100 uh, vertical elevation. And that takes me about 11,000 steps. It is not an easy feat. And that is within one hour. You must roll. You cannot be faint of heart. And maybe one day I'll show you that. There are those that say, well, we are the residency. We have residency here. And we will show you all of that. We're going to show you a beautiful community in the videos to come. Uh, what we do here is a very beautiful place, pleasant to the eyes. It is a beautiful place. And that all of the, uh, even those that once lived here, they certainly were contributors 
to the growth, and I appreciate their labor. I really do. I really do. I simply do not care to be a part of their fallacious, fallacious attitudes and their ways. I won't do that. All right, okay. Look now. Notice I mount this machine that is called the dip. My hands are gripped at the back of this apparatus. Then I fold, I loosen that fold my legs and go down. I hate exercising, but I love it. I really hate it, but I'm addicted. I'm addicted to exercising. I've done this all my life, some form of exercise, exercising, some form of, of physical activities, basketball, football, track, baseball, swimming, golf, whatever. I've done it, except hockey and things like that. Running, uh, my issue and I will get out at our event or our pleasant weekend activity was getting out running seven, eight, ten miles. And she was an excellent runner. She has a fractured tibia. She can't run like she used to. But we used to run uh, for miles, 100 degrees. We got running five miles. And when I married her, she couldn't walk a block. I said, woman. You can't hang with me unless you have some physical proudness. And I taught her, and she was excellent. One more dip, I must rehydrate, chop my hands. I want to show you a few more exercises, some things you can't do to help you. And these are beautiful exercises. I don't know, I usually work my legs every day. I do something. Leg extensions here. That's, that's about 225 pounds. Also, I come here and I squat. Men are afraid to squat. They don't like squatting. I get on the squat right here. And I squat. And we'll be doing that to get on the squat right here. And I do this exercise. I do it. this. And then I also deadlift here. And maybe the most I would go up to now 350, 375 pounds. I haven't bench pressed in five months or so, but I tend to do my benching during the summer. I love to bench. Uh, I love to come in here and bench press. Even at my age, my activity was to come in here, warm up about 30, 125 pounds, 30 reps. Then I would go to 225 pounds for about 15 to 18, 20 reps. Then 275 pounds for 12, 15 reps. And then from that 315, 325, trying at all times to get 10 reps of that. But I don't do that now, all right? If I wanted to condition myself to do that, I could. But I don't. All right, here we go again. As I said, you can't find a place in your home to mount all this comes from the hardware store. It's only black pipe, metal pipe. And then a V. This is called a V. Pectoral chest pull. You can buy this little piece here for around, mm, I would say, $25. So this whole get up right here, with the bolts and everything we have, maybe mm, uh, $25, $50. That's it. And you have an apparatus that will make your shoulders strong, your back, your torso. There's so many things you can do here, really. You can have these, this and that dip machine. You don't need anything else. You really don't need free weights. I simply like free weights. All right, here we go. You see, I wrap my hands around the V-bar. I do that. All right. Then I began. This is a lot of weights pull up. I'm 
big, and I know that I'm overweight, so don't mock me. Well, if you do, that's all right. I don't mind that. I'm honest enough with myself to know that I'm overweight. I know that. I should be around uh, 190 pounds, maybe 200 pounds, but I know that the anatomy of my physical makeup is going to be difficult to do that, but I can be fit and healthy even at my weight and do things that a 190 pound man cannot do. My natural biological father is a huge man, around 255, 60 pounds, about six, uh, six foot one plus large strong man and he's always been that way and even my email was for she was around five foot six and five 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 six five six and maybe around 125 pounds but my natural father's a big man and even my mother's brothers they're all they're tall men except two of them they were tall men six eight six five six six men like that all right here we go one more, okay? Notice this. I drop my weight down, bend my legs, pull. You and your issue. 
they are many men that their issue is as huge as they are. You precious bastards are you. You should not be weighing 250, 300 pounds. You ought not to weigh as much as you are. Ish. You should not weigh. If he weighs 190, you weigh 240, 60 pounds. That's, that's not the best thing. Because when you go places, you want people to look at your ish and see his beauty reflected in you. Well, you get on the bed, you get on the chicken, you get on the, the precious uh, bath. No, I love you, Saraya. And I know you bath it is I own. Should not have guts like beasts. You should not. It is only one thing that you're overeating and you're eating too much. If that offend you, makes you angry, whereby you will do something, I won't apologize. All right. This is something that you want to do to work your back, your pectoria, and I'm going to show you my variations. I do it in different ways. I'm going to do it one time with this bar. You see that? This is the curl bar. And I'll do it one time with the V bar, okay? I only have 150 pounds on that, so this is quite light. All right, maybe I do two reps at each. What time is it? Uh, I want to get this down, so I'm sitting on and I may get this down. We'll eat a little later, all right? Do your fair exercise. So notice this. I will, this is what we call a Smith machine. Now this machine will cost you one like this will cost you, with the weights with it, this will cost you, if you search the internet, you can get a machine like this for, ah, uh, 1,500. That's what this will cost you. But it's worth it. There are many exercises and forms and variations on this machine you can do. I will show you this one. So I will take this weight, I will take my foot, notice, and I push back. All right, if I want to work my midriff, I simply, Pull the weight, see that? I work my stack in the chin. See that? You see it? The way I don't work the pegs and all that on that floor. See that? See that? All right. Whew. That's heavy. Ouch. You must get a breather. Whew. You feel that? I do, my friend. I feel it. Hallelujah. I feel that. I am not a beautiful, a photogenic person. I don't uh, project photographically like others do. I don't have that appeal, and that's the truth. So I may look awful on this video, but what I'm showing you will work for you. All right, what I will do is take this up to 170 pounds, okay? And then I will change the, the bar. This is, it's called a curl bar, all right? So I'll take this off, and I will put on what we call the V bar. This is the V. It's smaller than that one. You see the difference? This gives you a better grip. You see how small that one is? And look at this one. See the difference? Different. So I'll use this one, because this one makes you work harder on this apparatus. So we'll put this here. All right, let me try. I see because I am happy I am. This is how I work out in here by myself most of the times. I see because Roshua has made me, oh, I am so free, oh, the eyes of Yah upon the stair, the stair. Oh, he 
with us. For we, Israel, only Israel, oh, we are here, we are in the shadow of Yah, our Abba. So, so, so I see. Because of your sure, I sing because my name, my name, and your name is written in the bosom of you, my Yeshua, Hamoshi. Yeah, hallelujah. Is that all right? I did that to buy me some time. How about that? Hallelujah. All right. This is what I call the feet pull. It is, uh, it works a closer grip and it gives you a tremendous ten attention upon your pectoral, your deltoids. It does. Let me show you that. All right. Here we go. How about that? Same way I pull. I'm so to work my torso. I pull. Put on another with your torso. See that's a little bit. It takes a will. I'm telling you, you don't do this unless there is tenacity and a willingness. Because it's very difficult and painful. But I do love it. I really do. Oh, we dance to Ya Al Abba. We dance in the Ruach Yeshua. Dance. To Yahweh Israel, dance to Yahweh Israel. I want to show you a couple more exercises. And as I said, my friends, and even my enemies, I will show you things that, in the course of time, I want to try to do this once a month or every two weeks. So many things I want to share with you to give you some insight for your own physical uh, proudness to have to get in shape. Let me hydrate. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Little chalk. This is my excuse to get a little rest. Right. So I'll chalk up a little bit. This may be quite a long video, but that's alright. You don't have to watch it all. You can fast forward and do that. So there's you that will, will get some. Uh, some material out of this that will help you. And you that will be blessed, that will be blessed. Uh, and it will be encouraged. I'm trying to motivate you, that's all. I'm not trying to show you what I can do. Because certainly there are things you can show me that you can't do that I cannot do. But this has been a part of my life for the last 30 years of that. More than that. You really want to develop I get stronger arm, arms. There's nothing like the street bar, girl. Nothing. Nothing like it. Next time I have a long sleeve shirt too. There's nothing like the street bar, girl. Nothing. And I want to show you two variations of that. Alright. This is what we call the street bar. This here is 70. This is around 110 pounds. 
And so what you do on this bar, you can, you can work this. I'm going to do two sets of this and two sets of the curl. All right. You work this with variations. You work out, in, out. And so you will see the tension on your arm to develop it. To make your arms bigger, and most men like larger arms, your calves should be as equal to your arms. You have 20 inch arms, your calves should be at least 19 inches. That is symmetry. A man my size, my arms should be no larger than 15 inches, and my chest should be no larger than 46 inches. My waist should be 30 inches. My thighs should be around 26 inches and my calves should be at least uh, uh, 17 inches. Now that's asymmetry. That's what the measurement of a man, that's what they'll call symmetry because we're men. So shoulders should always be wider than our torso. We should not be wide here and then thin here, but it should be that way. Let me show you this exercise. This is a monster here. I don't like it, but I do love it. And look at this, all right? I'm going to notice how to grip. There are lines on the bar to show you where to grip. So I'm going to, I want to do the outward grip. Legs about shoulder width. And what I will do is grab this weight. Yeah! All right. Look bend in my legs and pull.
Not for the faint of heart. You can do it at even 50, 45. The young men that are 25 in bad shape. This should not be. All right, good hydration. One more, a few more exercises that I'm closing for today because I must go on live tonight on the live broadcast. This is on Yam Hamishushi, Friday evening before the Shabbat. It's about 2.50 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let me do one more this and that. And maybe one more exercise, then we are going. All right? Show you something that work all the muscle groups. I usually work my legs, and I don't feel right unless I work my legs. You have to work your legs. All right? I will show you some exercises on the legs that will make your legs stronger, whereby you can run, you can lift stronger weight, also for your lower part of your back. To make it strong, I show you some, some exercises for your torso to get your gut down. But I tell you, my friend, the only thing is going to get your gut down, not sit up. You must do cardiovascular. And then we must slow down on our consumption of food. We cannot overeat. And so, in this hour, especially in the winter times when it's cold, if I had my opinion regarded by you, I would try to slow down my eating, really. You precious bath it is I you don't have to eat much. I do get the right nutrition in your body, your mind will not crave for the things. I would above all things try to eliminate all things sweet. Eat a piece of cake every now and then. It'd be a beautiful treat every two months you have your slice of cake. Some ice cream if you desire that. But don't eat it once a week or every other day. Try not to do that. Limit your sodium intake and things like that. That's what you need to do. All right? I hope to get this video up soon. I don't want to do much altering. It's going to be an hour plus, but that's all right. You don't have to watch it all. I want your comments. Nothing foolish. Even those foolish, I'll leave it there. I'm not afraid of the individual that make remarks against us. I'm not afraid of that. I, I'm a judge. I am a judge. So I don't mind them judging me. Most people will just delete it. I don't delete it. <laughs> All right. He's right on. Here we go. As my friend Ak uh, Yachahan used to say, he's deceased now. He said, Here we go, preacher. Let's go. All right. Strong, massive man he was, my friend. Hallelujah. Here I go. All right. Here we go. Sing again. All right. Might be a little time. Mm. You may have some physical, some physical restraints, but uh, you don't have to do what I'm doing. I'm showing you exercises and things you can do with lighter weight. And even at my age, you can progressively maintain a certain physical standard and a degree of physical strength. You really can. 
I watch young men today that they that they have no physical strength at all, no whatsoever. One more set of this, and then I do want to show you some of the uh, pull downs for the for your deltoids up here, and uh, for your lack here. And uh, to make it strong, and so you can lift things over your head, I will show you that. The dining hall, they're singing there, but that's all right, we'll get there. All right. I did not want to make this video today. I was somewhat lethargic. I had finished harvesting after the day that began early this morning. And I said, well, this is... Uh, we'll be, we will stop work at 1.30. We do that here to prepare for Shabbat. I thought, let me do something, all right. Aksimi on my uh, video recorder was putting hay out for the, for the animals. And I was going to do this myself, but uh, he always handled that for me. So I want to do one more set, and then I'll get back with you on the other exercises and legs and things like that, squatting, deadlift. I'll get back with you on that, all right the benching and show you how you can maintain a strong bench press, all right? Here we go, all right. Here we go, the curls. Always utilize gloves, reduce the friction and the sweating so that I don't drop the bar. And the chalk is for that, to make sure you have a solid grip. It's dirty, but that's all right. You notice I have no gym clothes, I have my work boots on. Work slacks. I had on this shirt because I had on a long sleeve uh, uh, blue jean shirt. And it was certainly hot in the garden. And so when I came here and hit the bag a little bit, I said I would, I would take that off, all right? I intended to have a long shirt because I don't want you thinking that I'm trying to show my physical proudness. That's not the case, all right? Here we go. Here we go. And this belt that I wear, it is to help the lower back. And also, it helps the torso, the stomach. Keep it tight and help develop the, your waistline. Whew. I'm cheating, you know. I'm trying to, so I to keep from doing this. Hallelujah, here I go. All right, yeah. Rip inside. <clears throat> see how I drop that, see the bar? See that?
that thing's a try it. Do it for 10 minutes. Guarantee you can't do it. You got steps in your home fire on that. So stair steps, you do that. Or if you have a flight of steps in your home, walk up and down there. You live in an apartment complex, you have steps, walk there. 15 minutes, or five minutes a day. I, I don't want you to hurt yourself, but we need to do something, yes, I, I, I look at the nation, and uh, irregardless of the pigmentation, I see some of the most hideous looking people. We're fat, we're greedy, we're out of shape, we're overweight. And most of the men my age, they are grotesquely out of shape and overweight. And it's not a pleasant uh, thing to look at. It doesn't make a statement as to our discipline according to Torah. It doesn't. So shake it off, get the gut off. I began to do something that will assist your physical being to live, all right? This is a very beautiful exercise here. You can work different variations of the bar um, with. You can do it differently. What you want to do is a platform here. <clears throat> and what we do here, you, you position your feet uh, shoulder width or just somewhat a little more than shoulder width. And you can grab it wherever you want to, this bar. Because it will work the pectorials in the back differently. All right? And then you want to bend down. Bend down like you're sitting down. All right, and pull. Mocking them, but the world mocks us. 
Have you called last year? By issue or lie, we're in New York City. And of course, you have these young men that are out there do what they call ghetto exercise. They're everywhere. And it's in any place they see anything, any apparatus, they're taking advantage of it, doing pull ups. And so there was this young man, he had the symmetry of, his symmetry was just out of this world, definition, arms. And so he had two little proteges with him, young lads. By his short, I was there in Times Square, just walking. And on one little side, I don't recall what street it was. And uh, there were scaffolds there, and these young men, they were doing pull-ups. They were doing the pull-ups with the grips, like this. They were doing them like this. <clears throat> So, they were doing them, and of course I was impressed, and I stood there and watched. And of course they were watching me. And I said, uh, I said, uh, and, the, and the mentor, he knew that he had a physical presence. He was about 22, 23 years old. I said, that's impressive, man. I said, sir, is it all right if the old man join in with you? And so they looked at me. I had on boots, just baggy clothing. It was chilly. And they replied, sure, the young one's dead. The older lad, he was somewhat skeptic. I said, you do them like that? Yeah. And so they were struggling to get five or six. I said, okay, let me try it. And so I jumped on the scaffold. The bar was much larger than that. It was large, so it was difficult gripping it. And so I began to pull up. I began to match the young lad. And so the younger ones, they looked at me like, oh, wow, eh? The salt pepper beard is gray. The hair is gray. And so when they looked at me, they were somewhat intrigued. Well, not the, not the, the older lad, he, because he had a, the magnetism upon them because he was older and he could do it in such a way. He looked, his physical shape was just, it was beyond expressive imperative. So we can do that. Didn't think I could do the wide grip pull-ups, did you? But I can. This here is a difficult exercise to do, but believe me, it is. It's a wonderful exercise here to pull this down. I have 200 pounds on this. All right, so I'm looking at about my body weight. I'm 230 plus pounds, so, but that's all right. All right, now. Listen, you don't have to take hormones and steroids. Don't do that. Don't mess yourself up. It's all right for supplements, vitamins, B12, and things like that. Even you older men, no Yohembi. I can't take the Yohembi. It has an effect on me. It, it simply makes me sick. I have proteins, vitamins, excellent vitamins. I take a raw multivitamin. And my friend Oxelion, he, he argues with me in the sense that the vitamins he take are much better, all right? I will finish my Raw, I also uh, change vitamins of different types, uh, vitamins every four, five, six months. I don't take the same ones. When I finish this, I will try something else or something else. And my body doesn't become adjusted to that. All right, here we go. All right. You may have to pray for me on this one. All right, here we go. Whew. Here we go.
Very tough. One more way done for today. Very tough. Here I didn't get to work my legs. But I'll do that the next time with you. I'll work my legs. Maybe I'm pretty sure. I will show you some of that. If my oxymion has the time and the patience with me. Last one here. Give you 10 reps. Get off the couch, throw away the potato chips, the ice cream, the cookies, and hit the pavement. Do that. All right, put you there. Here we go. Sometimes I ponder in this little town that I am in, there are about 900 people, 950, maybe a thousand. And I wonder how many men of my age can simply do the physical activities I can do. And I will guarantee you be far and few in between, or if any, that's in my age group. And so the same can be for you, Israel. We learn the disciplines of Torah. We eat properly, get proper sleep and take care of yourself. Get the damn television out of your house, throw it away. It's killing you. You'll find yourself doing things that most men your age cannot do. Hallelujah. It has been a delight with you. I hope that this video is somewhat long, but hope, hope, hope you can retrieve something out of it. Hope it motivates you. When I see men that do things, it motivates me. It doesn't purport this type jealousy, and that there would be those that would put remarks up. And they would do it out of their distaste because they cannot do it. They don't have the ability. They don't have the physical proudness. They don't have the drive, the heart. It takes heart to do this. Sure it does. It takes a physical heart to do it. And so they will put up negative things. That's all right. I have a, believe me, I'll leave it there. You don't have to worry about thoughts. May the riches of God rest upon you all. Here from Uma Teshua, Riyadh with Yisraya. We're going to say to you all, have a great Shabbat. May the riches of Yahweh your sure rest upon you. The blessed assurance, the only name given unto Yisraya, whereby there is Yeshua, deliverance, separation. The name of Yahshua Hamashiach, Yavrak. Shalom, my friends.